you really, really, really need to take note. Because it may be danger, it may be That's something, right. but you need to take note, yes. amen? And amen. don't ignore it, all right? That's right. Okay. And 1 John 1, 27. This is the last scripture I'm going to go over, and then I'm going to give you an example, okay? All right. All right. How to get God's best. And this is, people go so many different ways, but I think this is a good one that everybody can kind of relate to. All right. 1 John 1, 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abide in you, and ye, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you all things, and is truth and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Amen? Amen. amen. Now, amen? Amen. Now let's go over that itself. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay, now, let's just say you're in church. Any church. You were watching TV, anything. And um, everybody understands what tithes are, right? Yeah. And we're not talk about tithes. Tithes is 10%. Amen? Right. But we're going to talk about offering or giving to God. There's so many ways we could go. But we're just going to simply this way. Let's say someone is saying it's time to give, or I want you to give a certain amount, or God is saying this, or God is saying that. So this is what you should do. I'm going to lead you through this process. When someone says give, and it's like a special offering, you know, something out of the ordinary, mm -hmm. let's say someone says, uh, someone give me a number. Nicholas, give me a number. $1,000. $1,000, okay. He says, preacher says, God wants you to give $1,000, okay? It's your responsibility. When he says that, you should have a quickening in your spirit. When, when, he, when someone says, and it's God, you should have a quickening in your spirit. Amen? Amen. Number one. All right? And this goes to the scriptures we talk about. And we talk about getting God's best because if it's God we want to do it, but if it's man, we, you may say you don't want to do it, or if you do do it, okay, well, but it won't be here. That's right. When That's it's right. God, it'll be here. Amen. But if it's man, you know, you could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Depending on what it is, it might not be nothing, but, you know. <laughs> but we're talking about getting God's best, okay? So you should have a quickening in your spirit. Amen? Number one. Number two. God should tell you how much to give. That's right. He should tell you how much. Mm -hmm. You should know how much to give. Right. Now, the man of God may have said $1,000. So if he says $1,000, then it should bear witness in your spirit, okay? First, God is getting your attention. That you need to give. And now you need to know how much to give. Now, does your spirit bear us witness with this thousand dollars? Or does it not? Now, depending on the man of God, they can say, I want you to give him a special offering. And you may have a quickening in your spirit, and God may tell you himself to give a thousand dollars. Amen? Or another number. But God needs to speak to your heart. Okay? Amen. That's two witnesses. Amen? Amen? You've got to have those two. Thank you, man. And what's the third witness? Alright? After you give, Whatever the man of God said needs to happen. That's right. So, if he says God's going to give you a thousand dollars, I mean, God wants you to give a thousand dollars, and then after you give this thousand dollars, within thirty days, you'll get your promotion or whatever it is. Okay. Amen. If thirty days come and you don't get your promotion, it was not God. Amen. Amen. It Amen. was not God. Amen. So you need three witnesses. Amen. Amen. And that's how you get God's best. Because if God is speaking to you, and you give a thousand dollars, then you're going to get God's best. All right. Amen. But if you're giving because somebody said to give, then you're not going to get the best. You get somewhere Amen. in here, Amen. and if they're just lying, you may not get nothing. But you know, you can give in faith, and God will bless. Don't get me wrong. I don't. You know, I don't. Need, <laughs> you can give, and God will bless you off your faith. But I'm just saying, God's best. All right. Yeah. So we need to know when God is speaking. Amen. I don't know if I ever do anything like that, but I guarantee you, if I do, it'll be God. I promise you that. <laughs> but that's just an example of getting God's best. So what? So what are we talking about? So we have to understand. So remember this. When we go back, it says in Isaiah 48, it says, "Thus says the Lord, Thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel: I am the Lord thy God, which teaches thee the prophet." And then it talks about every good and perfect gift comes from above. Amen? Mm -hmm. So God has it, alright? Right. He's going to lead you into it. Amen? Mm -hmm. 
Amen. So once you prepare, he's going to speak to you. But you have to understand when it's God and when it's not. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you understand when God is speaking to you and you act on it, you want to get God's best. Yes. Amen. 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 We believe that? Yes. yes. Amen. That's the message for tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, he gives me the word and I said, well, you want to talk about this? I said, no. You want to talk about this? Said, no. I said, well, then. You want to nothing was come, so I laid on the couch and spoke in tongues. Yeah, this is what you want to talk about. Said, okay. This, he gave it to me. And then, um, he not only gives them, he has to give me the direction. Mm -hmm. Because now I got the title. Mm -hmm. Now I got to get direction. Because you talk about provision, could go so many different ways. Mm -hmm. But I have to get the way he wants me to teach it. Right. And because I'm giving you what he has said, there's been so many, there's been signs, there's been wonders, there's yeah. been miracles, mm -hmm. people on the internet, you know, they feel God's press, they've been blessed. I mean, things have been happening that people have been dealing with for years, and in a moment it's gone. That's, right. That's God. That's right. That's right. Why? Right. Because we're obedient, yes. and we're hearing what he tells us. We hear right. it. He's here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. So we're getting God's best. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Now, before we have the offering, play the music a little bit because I believe that there may be a prophetic word that's going to come through. God's given this word. And we just spend a little time. That first song. Now, maybe a prophetic word. I don't want to sit down for, a for maybe just a couple of minutes. And if you have a prophetic word to give, um, just step forward. It can be a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge, or a prophetic word. Amen. Tonight is Psalm 78, verse 
72. And it reads, So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. So just understand that he's your the integrity of your heart, the truthfulness of your heart, your relationship, the skillfulness of your hands is all dealing with the provision. And like he said, if there's a provision here and then there's a provision here. So as we're moving forward and really, you know, pressing in and seeking God and obeying, preparing ourselves, we will walk in it with the skillfulness of your hand and the integrity of your heart. Is there a se second witness? Is there a second witness? Okay, there'll be one more witness. Thank God for that. God, that was a good one. If someone has a quickening in their spirit, just move because they'll give it to you when you get it. Scripture is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord. Lean, lie, depend on God with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and direct your path. So He's saying, you lean, lie, like, depend on Him. Don't let your mind get in the way. Hear what He's saying to you and then follow the instructions and you'll get God. We just thank God for the Holy Spirit who leads into God. We thank God for God's people who are so willing to let Him use them. Amen. Everyone lift your hands. Father, I pray you will bless your people with your best. I pray, Father, they will hear you clearly and they will know when you're talking to them. That they will be entered into the great things that you have. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.